Spanish missionaries first arrived on the islands of the Philippines in 1521. 500 years later, it is one of the largest Christian-majority nations in the world, boasting over 84 million Catholics, the third largest population of Catholics of any country. Father Gregory Ramon Gaston is the rector of the Pontifical Filipino College in Rome. He says that even in the context of a secular state, the influence of Catholicism is strong throughout the Philippines. We are 85% Catholic, and it is felt very strongly in society. Because if you go to a store, you always see a calendar of Our Lady. You go to a public office, a government office, you see the crucifix, you see Our Lady there, the Holy Child. Earlier this year, Pope Francis celebrated a Mass to celebrate the milestone for the Philippines, during which he praised Filipino women's capacity to evangelize wherever they go. Tante volte ho detto che qui a Roma le donne filippine sono contrabandiere di fede. Eh? Perché don, dove vanno a lavorare, lavorano, ma seminano la fede. Questa è, per mettermi la parola, una malattia generazionale, ma beata malattia, conservatela. For the over 12 million Filipinos living overseas, faith is an essential component in forming communities, but it's also a way of integrating into the local landscape. I'm pushing our chaplains a bit to gradually insert our fellow Filipinos into the local parishes so that they can be more visible, not apart from, but in the parish and in the celebrations of the community. In 1970, Pope Paul VI was the first pontiff to visit the Philippines. Pope St. John Paul II celebrated World Youth Day there in 1995, and Pope Francis visited in 2015.